Hey everybody, welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Today we are going to talk about some of the things that you can actually do with your design space and specifically with um, the attach and the weld because I see a lot of people that are welding when it, the correct answer is to actually attach. So I'm going to just start this off with uh, two shapes. We'll just use a pentagon and a diamond. <clears throat> and I'm going to make them two different colors so that you guys can see a little bit better. So these are our two shapes. So right now, if we click make it, I'll show you what it does. See how I have them arranged on here? If I click make it, it, it moves them on the mats to two separate mats. It does that because they're two different colors. If you want to cut two different colors, that's the correct way to do it. Now, if for some reason you have these two shapes, but you want them to cut on the same mat, you can connect them. But if you click attach, it changes them both to the same color. That's because what attach does is holds them in place so that when you click make it, it's going to cut them exactly like this. And if you move them on the mat, you move them together, not independently. So we can go ahead and detach these guys. And if you guys didn't notice, all of your um, items are right down here at the bottom of your layers panel. I'm going to go ahead and change the diamond back to a different color. So now a lot of people will tell you to weld these to hold them in place. And that's actually the wrong answer because what weld does, and I'll show you, is if I put my diamond on top of the pentagon and I select them both and I click weld, what that does is it turns them into one single piece. See, there's no cut lines. Weld is most often used for um, like cursive font writing to get rid of any of your cut lines. And I'll show you that too. Let me undo my weld. Remember that once you weld, if you save your project, you cannot unweld. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a text here. We'll just use good morning. And I'm going to change it to a script font. We'll use I Love Glitter just because that one's easy to work with. Um, I'll make it bigger so you guys can see it too. Um, so as you can see, your script font isn't touching. Now, a lot of people will tell you you have to ungroup and move each letter individually, but that's not true. You can use your letter spacing up here at the top. So I'm just going to click the down arrow on my letter spacing and it does take your design space a few seconds to catch up. So I usually just click it one or two times and I wait till it's where I want it. So I want to show you this. If we click make it now, it's going to um, have cut lines in all of our letters. And I don't know how well you guys can see those cut lines on here, but there are cut lines between each letter. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. And what we're going to do is select our word and we are going to weld it. What that weld does is it removes the cut lines. And I'm glad it did this because I wanted you guys to be able to see. We run into this problem a lot where your letter will fill in. So all we have to do is click undo. And there's two ways that you can get rid of this. So you can either make your word a lot bigger, which is my favorite and probably the easiest, and then click weld. But it doesn't always work. So go ahead and click undo. Don't weld it again. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup my word. This is the easiest way I have found to do it. Is you ungroup your word. And again, design space takes a second to catch up. And a lot of times what it is is that your letter is too close to your other letter. So I just move that one single letter over just a little bit. I select my entire word again. And I make sure to group it again. And it's going to group with that because I accidentally grabbed it, but that's okay. And we're going to go ahead and weld it. And this time, it should get rid of all of our cut lines. And our D doesn't fill in. Now, it changed colors because I had the pentagon selected with it. No big deal. But that's you got to make sure you only select what you want to weld because, you, again, you cannot unweld. Now, if I wanted to cut this and I wanted to have a few extra shapes surrounding it, I'll say a triangle. I'm just going to make some random stuff and you guys will see um, kind of how this works. So I'm going to leave these ones in a different color because let's say that I wanted these 
specific shapes to sit behind the good morning for whatever reason. If I want them to sit within this pattern so that I don't have to repattern them, because watch, if I click make it right now, it puts them all in their own order to save vinyl or whatever you're cutting. And then it has your good morning and then it has your diamond. But if I don't want these specific shapes to move, I click on one of them, I hit control, I click on the third shape and then or the second shape and then I click on the third shape. I'm going to click attach. Now when I go to make it, it's going to keep those shapes in that same order. Now, obviously mine is very large, so it's trying to put it on a 12 by 24 mat, but that at least shows you guys how to use weld, attach, and that way you guys can see, because like right now, for example, if I wanted to make this triangle have a little weird ear on it, I can do that. All I have to do is select all the, pro the project here, and then the diamond back here, that pink diamond, and all I would have to do is click weld. And apparently I clicked good morning. So we'll try this again with the pink diamond. Let me move the pink diamond to the front. So we'll just move everything else to the back. We'll move the pink diamond. So now I want to select the pink diamond and then the good morning. We're going to go ahead and click weld. Bam. Now you have a weird blob on your triangle. Once you get the hang of what each item means, you're going to have a lot easier time trying to make your projects exactly the way you see them on your mat because now when we go to make it it's going to be all on one mat just the way we have it on the screen but again remember you cannot unweld so if you want to do that don't save your project and just click undo now mine's going to undo it a few times and you'll see how mine moves around because it's undoing all of my moves and I can even go back as far as to get rid of the shapes that I added. And then I can go back as far as to unweld good morning. You'll see that it's now black again. And I have ungrouped it. So what we'll do, I'm going to go ahead and select it one more time. And I'm actually going to get rid of this darn pentagon. I don't know why it keeps selecting that with my project for some reason. Sometimes it does do this and I don't know why. But it'll grab the random shape next to your project and just want it in your project no matter what you do. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these shapes. And I'm going to change the color on this because I want you guys to be able to see. So I'm going to go ahead and regroup it. Now remember, once you ungroup and group, you cannot change your font. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just click attach. Oh, it's going to be a butt. Uh, I don't want to change every letter. I'm going to detach. There's there's a lot you can do, but I want to. Sh I was trying to show you guys the cut lines on this, but it's just it's not letting me change the color individually or on one letter. So we'll just change a couple letters. So hopefully you guys can see the cut lines. This actually will work really well. Okay, so you see how it has these cut lines here. That's what weld does. It removes those cut lines, so you can easily. Cut your word all in one. It won't have those nasty cut lines. I'm going to click weld, and you'll see it'll all turn one color, and we don't have cut lines anymore. I hope this showed you guys a few little tips and tricks on how to use weld and attach in your design space. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. I'm always happy to answer them. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Go ahead and click that little bell icon because that will alert you to any time I do post a new video. And I hope you guys have a great day.